I've, I've heard increasing warnings about, uh, about cyber terrorism and things like this. So, you know, non-state actors who really have no interest in seeing the system sustained, who could potentially hack into nuclear power plants, hack into the rail system, hack into the air traffic control system. One, er one too many words, potentially. Drop it. Right. The rest is okay. Uh, so, in, in a world that's increasingly networked, where we're, you know, you would only have to bring down all, every, every, the electricity supply to every hospital in America, uh, I mean, we, you just you, you allow your brain to start going these places, and it's pretty clear that, it, that this is an, an awesome tool in the arsenal of people who would wish to do us ill. As a, a former person who was charged with preventing that, how optimistic are you, and what can we do? I don't sleep well at night. I really don't. I only got three hours sleep last night facing some other problems like this for another client. It is difficult. For those of you really concerned and want to pursue it, Sammy Sagery uh, briefed Congress in 2007 on potential cyber risks. He ran a group of 30 people that did a study that felt they could crush the U.S. economy, stop the cars from moving, the gas from flowing, the electricity from coming to our homes and stuff for up to 30 days. How much would it cost to prepare such an attack? About three years, $500 million. He briefed them in 2007. More than three years have passed. I am convinced the arsenal of weaponry to take us down exists today and could be fired at any moment. All it requires is intent. So we have to behave much nicer on the world stage, and we have to get our act clean before somebody gets nasty enough to do it. And so assuming, uh, uh, let's, let's imagine that the year were 1999 and we were sitting here talking about the potential for uh, you know, a terrorist attack on New York City uh, using rudimentary techniques. Um, I mean, you know, God forbid that, that, that this should be something that's coming down the pike, but what would your, your professional recommendation be that we can actually do to head that off before it happens? That particular event, which is localized small group of people plotting on their own, it's very difficult without conceptualizing that risk and trying to think what types of groups, who should I watch, that sort of stuff. Very hard to find them. You know, this is outside of normal ken, the two, you know, the 2001 event. After the fact, it is so obvious. But before the fact, it was not. And now we've gone through the fact, and now it's sadly part of our everyday stuff, and we're putting plate mechanisms in place, still imperfect, to cause it from happening again. I see that same, sometimes, you can't visualize what you don't yet anticipate, mm. and you wind up getting it in the shorts.